Yeah, thank you very much, uh, and, and thank you uh, to uh, to organizers for for inviting me here for the for this event. Um, I'm uh, representing uh, Amprax Life Sciences uh, today, and uh, I am uh, participating from Vancouver, the, uh, the unceded land of the Coast Salish people, peoples, including uh, Stewartus, uh, Squamish, uh, Stolo, and, and, and Musqueam. And uh, I would like to uh, start by uh, some uh, some disclosures first. Um, uh, as, as you've uh, heard from uh, from Zara, I'm a uh, professor of medical genetics at the University of British Columbia. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm just going to jump uh, in really quickly. Sorry, can you share your screen in full? You're not seeing mode? it. All right. <laughs> I thought I did. I can see the slides, but if you do it in full screen presentation mode, we'll see one slide see. at a time. All right. How about now? Yes, perfect. Good. Thank you. Good. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, the top so, left, sorry, top left, you can use a slideshow option if you need it. So, so sorry, are, are you seeing you. The, uh, the slideshow or, or the... I see your full screen, so you can control it as you wish. Just go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Perfect. All Thank right. you. Great. Yeah, I'm also a uh, distinguished scientist at uh, Canada's Michael Smith uh, Genome Sciences Centre and I have the conflict of uh, interest management plans with my institutions. And actually the uh, technology I'm going to, uh, to talk about today uh, originated from my uh, academic lab uh, and uh, major funding for the, uh, for the work that went into it was uh, provided by Genome Canada, Genome BC, who is also a um, the sponsor of this organization and, and MyTex. And we also have a strong uh, industry uh, support from the, the Canadian poultry industry, uh, both to, uh, to my academic lab as well as uh, to, to Amphorax directly. And the problem that, that we are uh, addressing is uh, about uh, superbugs, uh, which kill about um, 1.5 million people uh, per year. And the number is growing. And, uh, and if you can imagine, it's uh, a problem that is compatible to uh, the the COVID nineteen uh, pandemic, but uh, but of course it's the uh, proverbial case of uh, frog in the uh, slow boiling water, I guess. And the superbugs are costly. Uh, they they cost uh, they they are projected to cost uh, around hundred trillion dollars in uh, GDP loss by uh, twenty fifty. So uh, trillions of, of dollars. So um, it's uh, hard to imagine, but uh, you can think of it as uh, erasing two Canadian economies uh, from the, the face of the world uh, by uh, 2050 every year. The uh, one, one of the uh, one of the um, uh, I guess uh, responses for this uh, uh, emerging. Um, uh, uh, problem was to uh, to restrict antibiotic uh, use in, in in farms, but they're also costly, right? So uh, we uh, are experiencing something like a one one billion dollar per year for the poultry industry in, in North America alone. And uh, on on the uh, more on the um, I guess uh, bad news side is there are no approved uh, new class of antibiotics uh, since uh, daptomycin in, in 1986. The uh, solution that uh, we are developing for this problem is called the antimicrobial peptides, or AMPs in short, and they are uh, functionally and structurally uh, different from antibiotics. And there are many to choose from, so so we can uh, we can select their uh, spectrum of action against uh, gram positives, gram negative uh, bacteria, and and they are uh, able to to avoid the creation of new new superbugs. Uh, that has been the uh, the problem with conventional antibiotics for the longest time, uh, but antimicrobial peptides (AMPs) have desirable uh, pharmacokinetics and, and pharmacodynamics uh, properties uh, to uh, to avoid that. The um, uh, motivation that that we have uh, can be uh, summarized in, in three parts: uh, why us, why poultry, and, and why now. Uh, why us is is uh, because uh, we have developed uh, key uh, AI technologies to discover, design, and refine uh, a novel uh, AMP-based uh, uh, formulations. And, and we also have a, a robotic system installed to uh, rapidly test uh, the, uh, the discoveries to um, 
characterize their shared data by activity against the, uh, the, the pathogen, as well as the, the host. And, and we also have the means of um, uh, figuring out their, uh, their, their confirmation, their uh, 3D structures in the, uh, in the protein space to uh, um, link them to the, the, the activity. So uh, what it does is it introduces the uh, discovery and, and development time by yeah, three orders of magnitude. And, and it is uh, also uh, three orders of magnitude cheaper to, uh, to do so. And, and why poultry? Uh, we are uh, developing uh, currently uh, some Innovo injectable uh, formulations. So eggs don't move. They are easy to uh, inoculate. And, and the chickens, uh, unfortunately, especially the, uh, the broiler chickens, uh, live uh, short lives. So, so there, there, would be, uh, there, there won't be any um, the adverse effect uh, accumulating because of the, the administration of, of AMPs. And, and why now? The, uh, the technology is mature enough, uh, both the AI technology and the um, uh, AMP technologies, AMP delivery technologies are, are mature enough um, that uh, we, can, we can push them to the market. Uh, but there's also a, a pull from the, uh, from the poultry industry in, in particular because they uh, need alternatives to uh, restricted antibiotics now. Part of the, uh, the AI here, uh, Back for a, uh, for a second, uh, we have been uh, working with uh, some some technologies that uh, recently emerged uh, for predicting the uh, the 3D structures of, of these AMPs, and uh, there, there are ways to associate uh, the uh, the biological activities to uh, predict the structure of these uh, these AMPs, and and we had uh, published uh, we in this case uh, the academic team, so so you are uh, seeing the. Um, uh, makers and shakers, I uh, guess, on, on that uh, authors list there. Um, we, we published our, our findings uh, associating these uh, these links between structure and, and function, and actually, it was uh, the subject matter of the uh, of the work was uh, highlighted as uh, one of the, uh, the ten biggest uh, science stories last year, and uh, the. Um, uh, the, the title goes, AI reveals new antibiotics, antibiotic susceptibility testing in the lab. This year, for the first time, several groups have reported using AI to create the novel antibiotic drugs, us being one of them. All right, so uh, there are other antibiotic uh, alternatives as well. Uh, so uh, antibiotics obviously are, um, uh, are, are not allowed for, uh, for farming applications anymore. Uh, most of uh, most antibiotics are not. Um, they do have some uh, some um, desirable features uh, like uh, adjustable spectrum, consistent results, ease of use, but they do create superbugs. Right. So if, if we if we use uh, antibiotics in, a, in an uncontrolled manner, as as we have been doing for the a good part of of uh, 80, 90 years now, uh, they they create uh, superbugs. Um, AMPs, on the other hand, uh, are like antibiotics um, in, uh, in, in in actual practice, uh, but they, uh, they they do not create uh, uh, superbugs. There are other uh, technologies out there uh, which are partially addressing these uh, these important um, uh, application uh, features. As I said, the, um, the work is a, a partnership between the, the academic and the uh, and the industrial partners. We also have a, a high uh, end user engagement in our work, um, and uh, here I'm representing the um, uh, development pipeline as a, a technology readiness uh, level uh, uh, chart, if you will, uh, or, or, or card. And uh, what we are seeing is a uh, progression from, well, the two needs of, of a progression from discovery to uh, commercialization, uh, but actually it, it goes back and forth between these uh, these stages, and AI is is uh, playing critical roles in um, in, in in all those uh, those interactions uh, by generating more data. We can uh, train our our. Uh, models better, and uh, th th there's a back and forth between those uh, individual activities. And as uh, uh, Anforax, we are uh, proud to be um, 
uh, addressing uh, nine of the uh, 17 uh, sustainable development goals of the United Nations. Uh, there, there was a meeting um, a few uh, weeks ago, uh, essentially UN uh, saying what happened to, to our uh, sustainable development goals and, and, and uh, the leaders of the world were uh, tumbling their, um, uh, their thumbs, I guess, um, but uh, we are uh, proud to be uh, contributing to the uh, the, the solution and, and not uh, creating more uh, more problems. So, um, in, uh, in in closing, I would like to uh, give a, a shout out for uh, for my team. I'm the uh, chief scientific officer of of Alpharex, uh, but we have a uh, talented team, and, and and we also have some uh, some trainees that that we are supporting in collaboration with um, our academic partners. Thank you very much for your attention.